What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just fil finished filming a review and demonstration of the new Biologic Recherche Serum d'Ete. So I'm currently wearing that. You are gonna see I have a lot of breakouts right now, but I explained all of that in the video before. So today's video is gonna be products that I maybe haven't talked about on this channel or I haven't talked about for a long time, but they're products that I want to repurchase. So one of the hardest things when you're into skincare or you have a skincare channel, not that I've been super active, but when you have a skincare channel or you review skincare or you test skincare out, it can be really tough to go back and repurchase things or you just kind of, they get lost in the shuffle. As new things come out, there's continually new things coming out, new things coming out, new things coming out. You, I find myself like, loving a product, but sometimes I just never get back to them or I don't get back to them for a very long time. So I have a bunch of products. Some of them are samples. Some of them are full-size products that I just want to repurchase. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to sit down and go through this bag of products that I had that are things that I want to buy again. Make sure if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what products have you used that you want to repurchase or you plan on repurchasing in the future. And make sure you click the description bar to check out everything I have listed down below. I have my vlog channel down below. I now have two videos on it. So those are kind of fun. You kind of go through my day with me, go to buy horses, go just talk about things. I really like it. I think the vlog channel is a lot of fun. I also have my import shop, Vantouche. Obviously, we don't have a lot of new product right now because of the issue, but we have some things listed on our eBay and Etsy shop. So make sure you click on Vantouche, follow our Instagram, and then of course I have my Instagram and socials down below. So enough of that, let's just go ahead and get into products that I want to purchase again. The first two are from May Lindstrom Skin. The first one, I'm sure so many people share the same sentiment with me, is the Honey Mud. Now this was, this to me, I'd use this mask like I use my Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Mask. I'd put this baby on and I would leave it on for two, three, five, nine, 12 hours. I'd leave this baby on all day because to me, the longer it was on, the better. And honey-based products to me, you can leave those on for so long and you only see better results. So we know that there's currently being a reformulation. They had to boost the preservation system because there were some preservation issues. I think there were some people were maybe experiencing mold or uh, some type of preservation issue. I don't totally know the whole situation behind it, but I know she was, revamping that and it's currently in like the uh preservation testing phase so this should be coming out sometime soon but really looking forward to that i love this product i like a lot of the may Lindstrom products not for the traditional reasons i know people have a lot of thoughts about it and i don't find that to be like superpower active products but the ones that i like i just like so i have the the honey mud of course so many people love it with good reason. And then the other one is the Clean Dirt. I find this to be a, a nice product. I don't use a physical exfoliator all the time, but when I do, I want it to do a lot. Like I want it to be scrubby. I want it to be quite scrubby usually. And this one was nice because it has the inclusion of vitamin C. It has some clays, so you could leave it on as a little bit of a flash mask. This is a product that I felt like you get a lot of bang for your buck because it's dry, so you're essentially getting double this. This is 6.76 fluid ounces. I felt like you're basically getting 13 ounces of product, which is huge. You could also use this on your body as a body exfoliant, which would be amazing, I'm sure. I never did because it is more expensive. And even though you get a lot of bang for your buck product-wise, I had a hard time <laughs> using it on my body. Just like I never used the Honey Mud as a cleanser. I know she recommends it as a luxurious cleanser, and that's great. But I want that luxurious thing to stay on my face, not just be rinsed off of it. So I'm sure it would be a lovely cleanser, but I would die if I had to use it as a cleanser. As a mask, straight up, only as a mask. The next two products are from the same brand again. It's from Osmosis. Now, I think Osmosis is an incredibly innovative brand just in general, and they were the first ones to introduce me to the retinaldehyde ingredient. I want to try so many of the Osmosis products, the Ace Catalyst AC11, their Vitamin C Serum, their DNA Repair Serum. So many of their products are just very innovative and have a different way of thinking that I really appreciate. But the two products I have here that I for sure want to repurchase are the Stem Factor. So this is their Growth Factor Serum. This one is cl clinically proven to have more alive and viable growth factors than something like the TNS Essential Serum and it's a significantly cheaper product. So this is $140 for one fluid ounce and it has more of those alive and viable ingredient, uh, growth factor ingredients 
and it has a, a many more different types of the growth factors. I know it's a horrible description, but I think it has upwards of 150 different growth factors that they have counted so far. There are many more in the formula though. So it's a really just incredible ingredient list and an incredible product. And then speaking of that retinaldehyde ingredient, I would love to repurchase the Renew Level 4 Vitamin A Serum. This is a retinol serum plus. It has retinaldehyde, but then it also has your niacinamide. It also has some oils. It has some soothing ingredients. It has fulvic minerals. It's such a well-rounded vitamin A serum. There are four levels. There's one for acne. Really, really great products. Well-priced. I love those. Here's a product from a brand that I kind of go back and forth on. So this is the Biologic Recherche Lotion P50 1970. So I really like this product, but I find that there are so many products that have exfoliating properties. There are so many exfoliating products on the market that I found that using this was just too much with the rest of my routine. I couldn't use this every day. I couldn't use it the way that you're supposed to because I'm using retinols. I'm using physical exfoliants. I'm using other chemical exfoliants. So I found that this was really hard to integrate into my skincare routine. Is it a great product? Absolutely. I think that what I need to look into is one of the other formulas. Potentially the most gentle one. I think that's P50W or P50V. Biologic Research Junkies, let me know down below what's the, the gentlest formula. Because I think with the gentlest formula, I could incorporate that into my skincare routine more easily. If I use this too much, it's just too much with all the other products I use. So I found that it just wasn't getting used as much as I wanted it to get used. But it is a great product and it's, it's very popular with a good reason. It's great. I mean, it is like a facial in the bottle, but you can overuse it for sure. So I want to repurchase this, but a different formula. Again, we have two more products from a brand that I absolutely love, this Truth Treatment System. So first one I'm going to talk about is the 5% Retinol Gel. This is great. So good. Now it's 5%, which is an unprecedented amount of retinol. You don't see that amount in the skincare world. So 5% straight up retinol, so it equates to about 0.05% straight up tretinoin or retinoic acid. So this converts into retinoic acid. But the thing that's so incredible about it, though this is a retinol product, it has, I want to say 25% of that tetrahexadecal ascorbate. So the vitamin C, fat soluble vitamin C ingredient that Truth Treatment System is so famously known for, but it also has moisturizing ingredients. Now he recommends using this like once every 10 days. It's that strong. I found that I could get away with using it maybe once to maybe twice a week. If you used it a couple days in a row, you would peel like a freaking snake. No question. This is a strong product, but you never felt chapped or irritated because it has that soothing vitamin C ingredient. So it's like the best of both worlds. And if you know anything about Ben Fuchs, his three main ingredients are Vitamin A, vitamin C in the form of tetrahexadecal ascorbate, and alpha hydroxy acids. Those are his three main components to creating healthy, beautiful skin. This has two of the three, and it's an amazing product and lasts so long. Like the rest of his products, you use like a minuscule amount. The other product is the Truth Treatment Systems Truth Bomb. So this is kind of the, the partner to the Transdermal C Serum. This has 75% of the tetrahexadecal ascorbate as well as fullerenes and some moisturizing ingredients. The Truth Treatment System's formulas include no water, no oils, no fillers, so you're getting straight up just active ingredient, active product, that's it, and they last so long. I think this lasted me like two years or a year and a half. It was such a long time. So it's a, a high upfront investment, but they last an incredibly long time. Another product that I've been without for way too long is the Demamiol Restorative Cleansing Balm. I treated this like it was a Fabergé egg. Beautifully scented, feels incredible on the skin, could be used as a moisturizing mask. I loved everything about this product. I need to say no more about it. It was just an absolutely beautiful cleansing experience. There are so many cleansing balms on the market I want to try. This one's an absolute standout. This takes cleansing from just being a step into your process to actually being like an ar aromatherapeutic self-care treatment type product. It, it makes you take a step back and just kind of slow down, enjoy the cleansing experience rather than just knocking your makeup off, cleansing again, and throwing your skincare on. It 
it really makes you slow down, and I love that for that reason. This is just destroyed. But the Dr. Lancer, the method polish, an incredibly, incredibly strong physical and for physical exfoliant. So Lam Dr. Lancer believes in using like a three-step method, the, the polish, the cleanse, and then a moisturizer. This is an incredible physical exfoliant. It is quite strong though. So if you're not into physical exfoliants, potentially don't use it. This is as close as you could get to a microdermabrasion and a single product. There's a lighter formula, I think, for, for other type of skins. This is the super scrubby formula. Use silica, silica crystals. I mean, it's, it's intense, really intense, but I love it. It was great. Didn't use it every day. Used it maybe once a week, but your skin feels so freaking smooth afterward, and I just loved it. Didn't talk about it that much, but I love it. Here's a brand that I give a lot of shit to, but this line to me is their standout. So this is the Fresh Black Tea Firming Overnight Facial Mask. I love the Instant Perfecting Mask. I like the serum. I love the Overnight Mask. I love the Black Tea line. I think I have the Essence right here from my first Dream Essence video. But this to me is a standout product, the Overnight Mask. My skin would be, it's like a heavy moisturizer, but not too heavy. It's heavy, it's comforting, my pores looked invisible when I would use it. Just a really great product. I love the black tea line. Don't have a lot to say about it other than everything about it was great. I loved it. One that I had a sample of is Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I didn't think I would like this and I didn't really see why I would need it, but the scent is incredible. It's nice to just mist on your face. One mist or a couple mists throughout your skincare routine. It's great. Really great. Are the ingredients great? Not necessarily. Is the scent great? It is. You could even use it as just a room freshener it, when you're doing your skincare routine. It's really beautiful. I liked it. I haven't talked about this one in a long time, but the Kors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. Love this. It was the first cream cleanser that I started using. Loved it. This is one we haven't talked about for a very long time. The Omni Silver Rich Face Mist in the Radiance Boost Edition. Fantastic. The lightest mist that I've ever used, like angels kissing your face, an incredible scent, an incredible ingredients list, and just this beautiful glow. Use it over makeup, use it in your skincare routine, use it to set your skincare. Just use it. It was beautiful. I love it. The Sulwasu First Care Activating Serum EX, I first bought this in Hawaii, and it's great. I really love it. I'm a huge fan of first treatment essences, first activating serums, whatever. I love this one. That traditional Korean, Chinese, Japanese medicine scent, hydrating. My skin just looks so healthy. Just beautiful, healthy glow. I love it. It's a really great product and the bottle's beautiful. Sticking with Solwasu because there are a few Solwasu products here, which I just love them. Here's the Sawasu Essential Firming Cream. I love this. I did feel like it firmed my face. And the Sawasu Essential Revitalizing Serum. I love this. My skin was hydrated and felt firm too. I don't know why. And then the Essential, or the Luminature Essential Finisher. This is like a finishing serum cream lotion fluid. I don't know how you would describe it. But this is supposed to contain the equivalent of 150 cups of green tea worth of antioxidants in one, not this one, but in the full size product. So, so freaking loaded with green tea antioxidants, polyphenols, EGCG, has green tea water, is very light and hydrating. This is like one of the Biologic Recherche finishing serums, but in the Sulwasu cream form. I loved it. Loved it. The History of Wu Wild Ginseng Ampoo Oil. Beautiful. A ginseng oil. I have wanted the ginseng oil for a long time. Just haven't bought it yet. This one was great. Here's a pretty straightforward one. The Elemis Superfood Night Cream. It's great. It's a great cream. I could use it during the day, use it at night. It's just a good cream. Ah, that's what she said, a good cream. Josh Rosebrook, Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator. Again, incredible scent. This is like the green beauty version of Naruko to me. 45 million ingredients. Do they all need to be in there? I don't know. But this is just good. It's good. Hydrating. Smells nice. I like it. 
61 Power Glow Peels. Great peel pads. Really, really great. I actually like these ones better than the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. Has glycolic, has salicylic, has vitamin K, has bilberry, has chamomile. It's exfoliating, a little hydrating, soothing. They're great. Now we've got some little sachet samples that I want. I'm going to throw in there. I talked about this in the first treatment essence video, but the Swanee Cocoa first treatment essence. Beautiful. Freaking love it. A brand that I've never really tried a lot of their skincare, Shantakai. I'm fascinated by them. I am just fascinated by Shantakai as a brand. This one, I loved it. Again, it's a honey mask. Go figure. It's the D, it's the, what is it called? Detox clay mask with rosemary and honey. Straightforward name. It's a clay mask. Has rose flower water as the first ingredient. Glycerin as the second ingredient. Your clays. Then it has some botanicals as honey has vitamin C. It's pretty much a all-in-one clay mask that's freaking beautiful. Loved it. Need to buy it. The Pharmacy Honey Savior. I've been trying to get my hands on this for quite some time at Sephora. Every time I go to buy it, it's sold out. Just a thick honey bomb. You could use it on anything. I would love it for just when my skin's going crazy. Has royal jelly in it. Has propolis in it. Has honey in it. That's why I love the I'm From Honey Mask. I love those three ingredients. And two Sicily products. The first one being the Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream. Never thought I would have liked this. It's incredible. Smells great. And I really, 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 really liked it. It's a lightweight kind of gel creamy consistency, which I don't usually like. This one's great. I've never tried the Black Rose Mask because there's shea butter in it. And I'm just scared. I don't want to buy a, I don't know, $200 mask. That's not going to work knowing that there's an ingredient that doesn't work for me, so I haven't done it. Anybody that has problems with shea butter, let me know in the comments down below if you've used the Black Rose Cream Mask. Has it worked for you? Has it broken you out? If I get a couple people that say it, won't, it doesn't break them out, I'm willing to try it. But knowing that shea butter's in there, it just like, uh, I don't know if I can do that. And then finally, the Sicily Eye Contour Mask. Now when I use this, I just used it overnight. Like I put it on like an eye gel, eye cream, and my eyes were so depuffed, Lines were minimized. My under eyes look great. I feel like I could use it during the day. You could use it at night. I never use it as just a mask, but leaving it on as an actual eye gel, eye cream product, it was fantastic. Need to buy this one. I freaking loved it. So that's it, you guys. I thought that was kind of an interesting video. These are products that I've had just sitting, waiting to be repurchased. Haven't done it yet, but I, I'd love to. So maybe I need to take a step back. Instead of buying old, new, new, new products, maybe I need to go back to some of my old standbys. That's it for this video, guys. Let me know what products you want to try down below, what products you need to repurchase, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.